So um, my presentation today is going to be called Control Alt Delete, and it's it's a lot about how I think businesses and marketers need to actually reboot and rethink how they connect to the consumers and what that means. And the primary crux of my I guess presentation and thinking lately has been a lot less around what's new and what are people doing and what are, what should brands be doing, but more just about consumers and how connected they are. Mm -hmm. And I think that there hasn't been much conversation about really looking at the fact that we're probably at this very unique moment in time where consumers are more connected and more ahead than brands are in this day and age. And so what are the implications of that? And how do brands not only stay ahead of them, but how do they actually engage and actually make valuable connections? Mm -hmm. Is the web uh, bringing us in a new world where uh, everything has to be transparent? And, and what is the frontier? What is the, the limit of this? I don't know if everything has to be transparent. I think there are instances where you want to ensure that the things that are what make you unique are the things that you can communicate and connect to consumers, but you're not telling them everything. Uh, you, you ultimately buy an iPhone, but that doesn't mean you have rights to a patent or things like that. Mm -hmm. And so I think there's a lot of you know, information and knowledge that people have that they use to leverage as a platform to connect to more and more people. But to me, that doesn't fundamentally mean everything has to be transparent. Mm -hmm. I think when you're dealing with consumers and there's a crisis, it's important to be as transparent as possible. Mm -hmm. I think that when you are trying to broadcast messages, like when I blog, I, I believe I'm as transparent as possible, but I'm not being perfectly transparent. I mean, we talk about transparency as if it's uh, everyone is transparent, and that's not true. When someone's on Twitter and they're talking about themselves, it's still very much filtered by what they want people to perceive them to be mm -hmm. rather than the transparent truth of what it is. Mm -hmm. So I think it also has to do with the fact that in our new hyper-connected world, our definitions of things like transparency are going to be radicalized and very different going forward. So. Mm -hmm. um, The, the, the traditional definition of transparency that we've used to date, I think, is fairly antiquated when it comes to the web. I think there are varying degrees and definitions of it. I don't think there is one transparency. Mm -hmm. You are using the word connecting with people, not communicating with people. We don't communicate anymore. We connect. I, I don't think you can have much communications unless you're connected. Uh -huh. It's sort of hard to communicate if you're not connected. And I think being connected is fundamentally the first part of what makes something social. Yes, but before, uh, a, f a few uh, decades ago, you would connect uh, to the mass with a medium uh, which would do the connection for you with the TV, for instance. Well, it wasn't really connecting, it was broadcasting. But you, yes, but it, I mean, you had, you had the connection with the brain of these people at home. Sometimes yes, sometimes no, but you it, had to it, have... But it was not a connection, a bidirectional connection. Right, well, mm. well the connections we see digitally are much more two-way. Mm -hmm. Meaning, if I want to connect to you, you d agree to connect back to me. If mm. not, and you're not following me on Twitter, and I'm not following you back, and, but you, then you try and see what I'm about, I'm essentially broadcasting. There really isn't much of a connection because it's not a two-way two mm. thing. And I don't think that there's anything wrong with that. I don't think you have to always have two-way connections or, or things like that. I think mm -hmm. that there is a time and place to do what people want to do. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we talk a lot about connections and transparency and conversations, and that's very minimal to me, actually, in the grander scheme of things. I look at the internet, mobile, and touch as platforms. They're broadcasting, publishing platforms where anybody can have a thought and publish that thought in text, images, video, audio to the world instantly for free. Mm -hmm. If I choose to do it in a one way and it works and I have an audience and people care, Great. If you do it in a way that's two-way, that's much more personal and conversational, great. They're not different to me. Mm -hmm. They're still, it's still a platform. So uh, my whole thing is about not putting rules and, 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 and sort of you know, fences around what I think or what I hope it is. Because the truth is, I use a myriad of platforms that could be two-way or multi in a very broadcasting type way and it works very effectively for me. Mm -hmm. I've seen brands do the same thing. So I don't, I don't get hung up on that so much as um, having the ability to actually have a direct relationship and choosing what that relationship means for both parties. Mm -hmm. But, but uh, with the brands you work with, uh, you, you cannot tell them to be totally transparent, of course. It's not possible. It would be harmful for them. 
Well, it's not a question of being harmful for them. I don't think anybody is transparent. Uh -huh. People don't. So uh, people that's don't. A, go, that's a dream. People don't go on Twitter and say I was just arrested for being a child molester, uh -huh. right? They don't do it. They're not completely transparent. Mm -hmm. People go on Twitter and emote how they want to be seen versus how they feel. Uh, the, the technology is agnostic. Mm -hmm. It's a platform. It doesn't care. I think it's it's how we as people use it and as we as brands use it. That, that makes it relevant for our audience or not. Mm -hmm. But maybe someone will take a picture when you talk to someone you're not supposed to talk to or something like that, and it will, it will be on the internet and you will be tagged, etc. So the technology maybe uh, has an effect on, on the, a more transparent world. The more and more content that's there and the more and more content that's published to the web, the less and less stuff like that becomes hyper-relevant in the mm -hmm. grander scheme of things. Mm -hmm. If it's a piece of content that I'm not necessarily happy with or I want people to see, mm -hmm. um, I can do things to avoid or evade that. Um, I don't have to link to it. I don't have to acknowledge it. I don't have to connect to it. Mm -hmm. And in a world where we're switching from, you know, this idea of mass media to mass content, mm -hmm. a lot of this content in that mass gets washed away. Mm -hmm. Transparency is one definition. And so if you blanket it with the, sort of with the one definition, I don't think it works. Mm -hmm. I think it works more effectively when you look at it as, is the company doing everything it can to communicate in a direct way with their consumers in a fair way? Um, it's not going to be 100%. It's unrealistic. I, you know, dealing with brands, I see so many issues come and go that even when the company is right, they're not right, they're wrong. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just a way of the social world too. You're not mm -hmm. going to go back to someone and say, see, I told you so. Brands inherently will just say the customer is already always right and move on from there. So again, I, I, don't, I don't think about transparency in that one way. Mm -hmm.